lovely people. I am so excited, so excited. I can even actually jump in the water and swim. That is Southend, and I meet Southend Pier. I'm going to make Southend Mongole. Yes, this morning, very early, I went to buy this Southend Mongole. Yeah, they call them a cockles. But I call them a Mongole. They're full of a flavor that is incredible. First of all, you need a clove of garlic. Slice the clove of garlic. Look, a slice, and it's quite thick. And you say to me, why so thick? Because slice this way, Okay, in case you don't like the taste of the garlic, but you love the flavor, you can always remove it. Fantastic. Then you need the chili. Look what I do with the chili. Just bash it a little bit away from your eyes. Look at that. Smell it. If it's strong, it means it's a strong, it's a little bit pungent and full of flavor. So inside here, probably I need about a quarter of a chili. Again, slice it. Good, and I've got some lovely anchovies, which is fantastic, I need about two anchovies. First of all, olive oil goes straight in. Yeah, good olive oil, straight inside. Then I'm gonna get two fillets of anchovies. One, and one, two. What actually anchovies do? You won't taste the anchovies, but they give you the sensations of a sea, and because here, there is a lot of a sea. This is what it's all about. Garlic and chili goes in. Ah, it's a fantastic. Let it cook for a little bit. Just get your fork in. Let it get a lovely flavor. And the anchovies almost disappears. Make sure you got nice passata. This is a little bit too much. You need about five, six tablespoons of a passata straight inside. This one, look at how beautiful it is. Inside a little bottle. Reminds me when I used to be in my hometown and every year we used to preserve it. Tomato inside a bottle. Why? Because we didn't have the jar, but we can find the bottle. Just put them inside, and there's just a little bit. Okay, we will stir it. Oh yeah, because the sauce is nearly ready. Then you get the cockles, the vongole. Just that, just one little cap. Just put them all inside. That's all. Get a fork, stir them a little bit. Let's get some parsley. Parsley is good. Include the stalk, put them all together. So easy, so unbelievable, so good. Just put everything inside. Get a fork again. Yeah, that's ah, Don't want to waste anything, they're all good. Let's have a check of the pasta. Mm, look at that, look at the way it's boiling, coming in, coming in. Just a look at this. Mm. It is al dente. The world al dente is a little bit undercooked because we're going to finish inside the sauce. But because when you eat pasta a little bit undercooked, you chew it longer. While you chew it longer, you taste it better, you digest it better. So I like them like this. Just put them all inside. Well, most of it. Oh, yeah. Just saute. Nice way. A little, little bit of a pasta water. Yeah. Just put a little bit of pasta in water inside. Fantastic. It's not taking very long to do it. Just give me another stir. What a joy! Why I'm cooking so good? Because it's out and pierced. Now this is ready. Look at that beauty. Look at that. It's all done. Then slowly, let me switch this one off. Oh, I'll leave them on anyway. Yeah. Oh my mind. Yes. They say never use cheese on seafood. But this is South and the Vongole. And the pasta is big di talone. Hardly anything. So when I used to do that, I used to use lovely smoked mozzarella. 
scamorza, little provoloncino. It's just, just a game, little line like this. Look, so the smoke. Mozzarella goes ever so well. Get a little bit, because you always like little decorations. Come on, it's very windy, but it doesn't matter. Love this wind, it's been really good. Hallelujah. Hold on. Look, do you know what? You stay there. I'm gonna put them on. I don't think the wind is gonna win. Yeah, yeah. And this is a salt and bongoli with vitaloni, little tomato, little garlic, chili. Anchovies to give it a fantastic flavor. Can I? Oh my mama, let's mix a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God, 50 years took me to cook on Southern Pier at the end I managed. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do it, so simple, three ingredients, maybe four. It doesn't matter, five or six. Arrivederci, ciao, buon appetito.